Hi guys. Hey, um, I just thought about a, uh, a concept that's out there that I originally did not understand. And no matter how many times people would say it, I really think in my mind, like that's bullshit because I just did not get it. So here was the, here's the concept is that whenever you have an issue with someone else, or if there's some certain things that you like about another individual, um, they're all a reflection of you. It's just a mirror of you. Um, and so I was like, that no. <laughs> I know this one instance that I, I, I don't believe that can apply to. So let me give you the background story. So <clears throat> previous place that I worked at it was myself and a lot of other uh young ladies around my age and um so it was this one particular lady girl one particular girl i'll call her a girl um that i just oh my gosh i just could not i would try being nice i would try being helpful i would try being friendly but I mean, it was just like, like she freaking hated my guts. And, um, I mean, I mean, honestly, I tried like super nice, super helpful, no matter how mean she was to me. <laughs> and I never, you know, uh, one time I did snap on her. I will say that is true. One time I did snap on her. I just gave her a real ugly, dirty look and walked out of her office because that was the best I could do at that moment. That was all that I had in me at that moment that I could do um, besides getting fired that day. Um, so, uh, trying to get back on track. So anyway, me and her, we just, oh, gosh, Lee, I just, I tried so hard. And so the things that she would do, and I would just always look at her like, I just, I felt like she was just a really despicable person. Like I could not see, I tried so hard, but I could not, I tried to understand where she, her point of view, understand where she was coming from. I tried uh, to look at myself, um, but everything she would do, I just thought was so just wrong. Like I felt like she would always try to stir up drama um, she would always try to put herself, she would stir up drama so she'd have the ability to put herself in a, a good light. Um, she'd always try to create, um, create situations where she could, uh, down talk or belittle or put down another person. Like she would, she really would create these things. Like if there wasn't an issue if she saw a sliver of opportunity to create something into an issue so that she can downplay or put down someone else, she would do it. And, um, and especially if she had the opportunity, like say if you made a small mistake, uh, I don't know why this is the only one I can think, but there was a much more, more, probably more explainable ones, but this is one small one. Um, so, I helped out with uh, purchasing the supplies for the office. And um, I would always send out a message to everyone, ask them what they needed so that I wouldn't just be buying supplies on my own without checking to make sure everybody was on board. So um, I did that one time and either she or someone else mentioned, uh, hey, can you get uh, these like folders? No, they were some, um, some larger envelopes. And so I, I brought those or whatever, you know, I'm going about my day. This was like a month later. Hadn't even thought about that. I brought the stuff, the stuff came in, I put it up, I ain't worried about it no more. So uh, it, the time came again to order some more and we actually had another young lady doing the ordering. And so I guess she went over there and she didn't see the envelopes there. So she was like, Cynthia, didn't you order um, the envelopes? I told you, I mean, this is in front of everyone. I told you that we need those envelopes. You said you ordered those envelopes. I told you we need those right now. You didn't order them. 
And I mean, just like that, probably a little bit more aggressive. I don't know, but that's just like that in my opinion. So I'm just sitting there and I'm looking like, okay, first of all, I'm not 100% sure what envelopes you're talking about, but I know if you ask me to get them, I got them. I have no reason to try to sabotage our business by not ordering envelopes. I'm sure I brought them. So really, she's looking around and I, I can't even remember what the envelopes looked like that she wanted because she was just kind of like not trying to be helpful and explaining what she needed from me. She was just yelling at me about what, how she told me to buy envelopes and I didn't buy them and I didn't listen and it was supposed to be some specific ones that I didn't get. And I'm just kind of like, I'm still thinking in my mind, like I'm sure if she told me to get it, I got them. So it's gotta be right there if there's ones that we need it. So the other young lady, she happens to look, so, look over there and see that it's the envelopes that she asked for, they're just in a different package. So that's a little example, but the thing was, was it was always, I need to get out in front of everybody and belittle you on the smallest thing. And she wouldn't just do it to me. She'd do it to other people in the office too. Uh, people that weren't considered important, she'd do that too. So, um, I mean, it was just things like that, that for me internally, it did take me back into a point of, of, of my life. Like as far as my childhood, I, I did through meditation and self-inquiry, I did understand what upset me the most about her doing that to me. And it was that things in my childhood where when I would do something wrong, it was kind of like a spotlight placed on me when I would do something wrong. And I would internalize that and feel upset, feel, you know, like out of control and so forth. And um, <clears throat> the behavior then when I was younger, I'd throw tantrums and things like that just would get me in so much trouble at school. But it, it took me back to that place and I had to start exercising that and working out of it. And I did because me as a child and me as an adult, I definitely handled that way different than I would have as a child. So I definitely grew out of that. And um, so I, I was able to get through that. But back to the whole ref self-reflection that these people are a mirror of you. I'm thinking there's no way in the world I would do that to someone else, which I wouldn't do an act like that as an adult, as of now. But what I did think about was a time when I was younger, when I felt like what I had to start seeing, like she is a person for her to do things. She has to feel like she has no one on her side, that she has no real friends, that no one has genuine care for her. And so that's probably why she behaves like that. And I asked myself, okay, was there ever a time in my life that I felt like that? And yes, it was. And if I had not grown and evolved out of that as a child, I would probably still do those things today. And I could even see situations in my life where I still believe that um, no one was on my side. Uh, no one had genuine care for me. No one understands me. Um, feeling powerless. Feeling like I want to lash out. I could see those things in my life today um, internally with certain situations and events that has happened. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that that was a reflection. I mean, like I said, it's another version of you, you know? So it was like how I could behave as an adult, even though I thought that, you know, things she did was so wrong and so terrible, that that person could definitely easily be me. So um, that's just kind of a play on that, like how to understand the self-reflection of that. You have to try to understand... Um, what instance in your life or what events in your life that could possibly happen where you would behave in a manner that this other person is behaving in? Um, 
also on another note on the positive spectrum of that say for instance there's somebody that you really admire or you really like um these people tend to be people who possess certain qualities about themselves that you believe to be true about yourself and that you're happy with um things that you may be proud of um I thought of uh, somebody that's kind of, not controversial, but some people like her, some people don't. I like her. I can see the negative things about her as well as the positive things. If you want to call them negative or positive, I think it's it's just all neutral. It's people. But um, I would say uh, Tamar Braxton, for instance. Um, She's got a very kind of rambunctious personality, very outgoing, kind of says edgy, controversial things. And um, there was a point in my life where I prided myself on being that way. And, uh, or even I wanted to act out in that way because I thought it was a way to live life boldly. I feel like Tamar Braxton lives her life boldly. And so, for me, I kind of saw myself as being an individual that does that. Um, but there's some things that she says and does that I wouldn't do because I have done before and there's been what I what some would consider negative consequences. You know, like maybe hurting people's feelings or uh, people perceiving you as being selfish or self-centered, uh, things like that, which I don't prefer those types of things. Now, if I'm living my life not trying to hurt anybody and someone just perceives me as being self and self-centered or whatever. I'm not about to try to go and change their opinion of me. I'm not about to try to act out in a certain way just to appease them and their opinion of me. I'm not, I'm over that in my life. If you perceive me a certain way, uh, it is what it is. I mean, <clears throat> if I feel like there's something I'm doing that hurts you, I won't intentionally continue to do it or carelessly do it. But I'm not going to constantly walk around and tiptoe and try to check in with everybody about how I should behave and what I should say all the time. I'm not doing that. I think that's ridiculous. Um, unfortunately, sometimes you'll say and do things that it will rub somebody some certain type of way. And I feel like we're all responsible for our own emotions and feelings and perceptions of things. We're all individually responsible for our own perceptions of our own life in our perceptions of other people. We're all responsible for that. So it's not up to someone else to make your perception of them some particular way. So, um, so yeah, you know, that's the whole, you are a mirror to your surroundings and your surroundings are your life or your world is all about your own perception. And since I came to that real realization, I did start to see things in that. I started applying it in every little bits, little bits, pieces in here in my life. For instance, if I'm out somewhere and somebody does or says something that I can recall myself in the past, um, either reacting to or interpreting in a negative way, I now say to myself, you don't have to choose to see it that way. You can be completely neutral on it. Or you could open yourself up to trying to understand it or kind of leaving it up to interpretation. Like maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Well, I guess the same thing as neutral, honestly. So um, once you start applying that in life, uh, I will say, I believe it's made me more intelligent, more emotionally intelligent, I want to say, because <clears throat> it's made it where when I've had opinions or something about someone and instead of me uh, formulating an opinion about the situation or the person, if I just remain neutral about it, um... I've been pleasantly surprised, like not not even surprised because I've made remained neutral, so I haven't didn't make an opinion negative or positive. But when I choose to not choose a particular opinion, 
the experience and interactions with people have been way more pleasant for me if you want to if that's the better way to say it like i've been having way more pleasant interactions and life experiences by not trying to formulate an opinion or trying to make an assumption about a situation or individual or an action so that's all i want to say about that um that's my opinion of that's not my opinion, but that's been my observation and my learning process of the whole, um, the world is what you perceive it to be. And the thing about it is, is that it's hard. It's really hard for us to understand. I'll make this very important last point. It's very hard for us to all understand that because we only live through our own perceptions. We don't live within someone else's body. So all we have is our own perceptions. We only have our own self-conditioning. Um, we Not self-conditioning, our own conditioning, life conditioning. We only have our own experiences to interpret things by. But if you try to remain neutral, not try to jump to a conclusion or a perception or idea about something, you'll start to learn that some of those things aren't even necessary to live a good life. And matter of fact, some most more cases than not, they're harmful so just don't try to jump to a conclusion or a perception or opinion just try to stay neutral um so that's all um just thought that was important hopefully this wasn't too choppy hopefully you, my point was made clear um if there's anything unclear or if you have an opinion or something to clarify about what i've said please leave a comment below um if you like this video uh, please like it. Please subscribe if you'd like to follow me on my journey. If you find my videos entertaining or informative or educational, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can get notification every time I upload a new video. And so uh, I love you guys. Um, take care of one another and especially take care of yourself and love yourself because if you don't love yourself, there's no way that you can possibly love someone else love starts here first so thank you guys till next time bye bye